New at 6 tonight, a breakthrough in veterinary medicine right here in Green Bay. Two dogs recover amazingly well after receiving stem cell transplants at Packerland Veterinary Center two months ago. They are the first vet clinic in Wisconsin to perform the procedure. NBC 26's Deanna Corinthios is live at 6 with more. Stacy, it's a story that gives hope to pet owners all over the country. Stem cells are taken out of the dog's fatty tissue, harvested, then injected into the problem areas, leaving the dogs completely healed. We couldn't take him on walks. He, you know, just laid around a lot. We'd hear whimpering overnight. She'd take a few steps and she'd sit down. But now the dogs have a whole new life. Until two months ago, De Niro suffered from severe arthritis, shadow from hip dysplasia. The owners were at their wits' end. De Niro's thought he might even have to put his beloved German Shepherd down. We felt we had a decision to make because with, with his quality of life and being in pain, we didn't really want him to be in pain. Shadow's owner was willing to try anything to cure her. Whatever cost it would would be needed to get this done, we were willing to do. Then Packerland Veterinary Center offered them stem cell therapy. The dog's own stem cells are extracted, then injected back into their bloodstream and joints. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Pretty soon, I think we're going to be able to maybe use this to regenerate more than just part of a tendon. Now a miraculous recovery for both animals. Ever since probably day four after the surgery, she's shown constant improvement. De Niro loves uh, going up to the lake and uh, running and uh, jumping in the water and now he can do that again. It's something every pet owner wishes for, a few more happy years with their loyal friend. Now stem cell therapy costs between $1,800 and $2,500. Right now animals with cancer cells or at risk of complications during anesthesia can't go through it. Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26. Thanks, Deandra.